see the growth happen within the church, but that infrastructure has to be tight and it has to be in place because pastors will go crazy trying to take care of every single thing on their own. So you have to have people in place that you can trust, that you know will get the job done, that you know can work with people, and that you know will not cause division within your church, will not be causing any more stress to you as the pastor or the, or the, or the minister of the church. So I feel like if the infrastructure is solid, then we would see that growth within the church. Well, tell me, tell me this, as, 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 uh, we get ready to wrap up because I don't want to take all of your evening, but I am I am most certainly enjoying this. I want to say, me too. Um, is your is your is your age group concerned about soul winning or church growth? Um, I think. Do you see that as a difference? If you don't mind me asking, I do, I do. Let me just kind of talk a little bit about it. Um, numbers are one thing. Save souls. souls are I see what you're saying. Yeah, because I mean, you can have a big church and a lot of people in the church. They can be dancing and running around the church, and, and and you won't see the growth that you say your age group desires as we interact one with another. You'll continue to right. see this immaturity of saved people, where we can talk any kind of way, walk any kind of way, do any kind of way. You know, you'll continue when you when you grow up in Christ, when you mature. The Bible says, "Be ye perfect." Even as your father in heaven is perfect, then that being mature is what that means. And we lack a maturity in the church, that's for sure. So just to kind of go back to my question, are millennials concerned with their uh, colleagues, with their uh, counterparts, with their friends being saved and saved for real? Are they concerned? Is that a concern? Absolutely. I would say so with my friends, we are very, very concerned about the souls of our generation because with this world being so saturated with fast money, fast cars, drugs, men or women, the the getting rich quick, having money at your fingertips very fast, or connections or, or things like that to where you can get any and everything that you want really fast. Um, I feel like we're losing our generation going back to that thing. I feel like we're losing people. So, and that is another reason why the, 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 the that our generation is not concerned about church or concerned about God, because it's like, what do you have to offer me? Uh, like there's no opportunities within the church. Um, there's there's nothing that that I can do to try to become involved because you just want these certain people in certain places, and you're not open to letting other people come in and, and, and serve. Basically, um, of course, everybody who's first getting saved and stuff like that has to go through a process, and we understand that. But um, I feel like a lot of times. Churches are not necessarily open to letting people come in and experience God in a way that benefits them. Um, it's like they come in and you tear them down instantly and immediately, but there's nothing, there's no process or anything, anything like that to help build them back up spiritually. So um, I feel like my generation is definitely concerned about the souls and the hearts of the people because we want to see we want to see this generation be the example and be the ones that says yes I can be stylish or, or yes I can I can look nice yes I can do this or that but I still know God and I still have a relationship with God well, look, let me just say this. I'm feeling part two. This was this was so good. This was so good to me. I mean, I have got I have written down all kinds of things, Xavier, that you have said, even when you talked about needing the new flame and the new fire for this for this time. I I tell you, I am 
I got blessed. So I need to really connect with you again that we might do part two because I think that there, yeah, there are so many things still that I wanted to ask you and just, uh, just wanted to just kind of further unpack some of this, but I have enjoyed you today and this has been a blessing and, um, thank you so much again for taking out your time to talk with me. me. Anytime you need me, I'm here. Thank you so much.